and we're live what is going on everybody welcome to the stream tonight and this is going to be a special one between umass amherst and st cloud state for the ncaa college hockey national championship one game winner takes all for the title in college hockey it is going to be a spectacular game Really appreciate everybody watching tonight. Thank you guys all for being here. Ready to do some college hockey, which I haven't done in a while, but this is going to be a lot of fun. Brian, low gamer, Niners fan for life. Everybody, we, we need some members hype in the chat for Niners fan for life. Actually became a member before the stream, right before the stream started. But um, Definitely get some hype for Niners fan in the chat. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Really, really appreciate that. Brickso Games, THG, Elijah, Vernon, Daniel, Shane, Bubaloo, Dylan, uh, Perlo. What is going on, everybody? Daniel, welcome, everyone. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We've got the best of college hockey, the final national championship game. This is going to be a great one. Peyton, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I got the lineups for both teams in front of me. Red Rubber, welcome to the stream. Thank you got, Thank you for watching. Want to take a look here. St. Cloud State. Uh, let's see what they got. Uh, they've got a few NHL draft picks on their team. Uh, Nick Perbix, a defenseman, number 25, is a Tampa Bay Lightning draft pick. Uh, their goaltender. David Rennick is a Los Angeles Kings draft pick. Uh, right wing number 19, Sam Hent. Hang on, let me see the pronunciation here on how to say this. Hentges, okay. Sam Hentges is a Minnesota Wild draft pick. He's number 19. And VT Mietinen is a Toronto Maple Leafs draft pick. So that is uh, NHL draft picks on St. Cloud State. For UMass Amherst, um, take a look and see what we got here as far as NHL guys go. Uh, Matthew Kessel is a St. Louis Blues draft pick. He's number four, a defenseman. Mark Del Geizo is another defenseman, number two. He's a Nashville Predators draft pick. Um, Zach Jones, number 24, another defenseman, is a New York Rangers draft pick. And their starting goaltender, Philip Lindbergh, is a Minnesota Wild draft pick. So uh, that's what you've got for NHL draft picks in the uh, lineup for UMass. Um, hey, Brixo with the $1 dono. What is going on? Thank you so much, Brixo. Really, really appreciate that. Please get some dono hype in the chat. Perlo Jr., I don't know, not in yet, but maybe we'll see him later. Nicholas, what's going on? I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you for being here. Uh, Joey, welcome. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, puck drop is about six or seven minutes away, uh, Brent. Isaiah, what's going on? Welcome. Brent, welcome as well. Thank you for being here. Uh, UMass looks really good too, Daniel. So uh, I'll be pulling for, well, I almost went to UMass Amherst, so... They were, they were my number two school. They were the school I probably should have went to rather than Worcester, but um, I'll be pulling hard for UMass here. Uh, nope, this is my only stream of the night. Um, Bubaloo says, let's go UMass. Yeah, we'll see if they can pull it out. Uh, Town of BFDI, what's going on? See you later, Elijah. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. UMass was my number two school when I was picking colleges. You, I, I went, I looked at um, UNH. Or I didn't end up going to UNH or like looking there, but of schools that I applied to, UMass was one of the big ones that I was most likely to go. Um, obviously, Worcester State, where I ended up going. UNH was on the list. Um, Vermont was on the list. Um, Trying to think, other schools that weren't real, the not hockey involved, don't really matter. But um, UMass was my number two school. 
Declan, what's going on? Welcome. NHL Hockey News Reports, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Victoria, welcome. This game is on ESPN, Matthew. This game is on ESPN. Yeah, Bubaloo, I, I, pro I probably should have went to UMass Amherst. It was Worcester was definitely a small school. It was nice, and I met some friends, good friends there and stuff, but um, I definitely, if I could do it all again, I'd probably have gone to UMass. So St. Cloud State, um, they are black and red, obviously white trim as well for their colors. Uh, UMass Amherst is kind of a, a burgundy, well, they're wearing their white uniforms, but burgundy is in white are the colors for UMass. Um, all right, Hockey News reports. Have fun, man. Yeah, Quinnipiac was on my list too, but I was never probably realistically going to Quinnipiac. I loved the school, but it was way too expensive. So I don't think I was ever realistically going to go there um, after realizing the price tag and the fact that it would be over $50,000 a year. Um, I went with a cheaper option, which was definitely the right move, but... I think when I was picking colleges, it really came down to um, UMass or Worcester State. Uh, yeah, Daniel, you want St. Cloud to win because they're a school from Minnesota. And I know that you are all, about all things Minnesota. So um, I certainly understand. Yeah, anyone from Minnesota is going to want St. Cloud State to win this. Anyone from Massachusetts is probably going to want UMass to win this. Uh, yeah, Babalu, my sister goes to Providence College. I did. They were not on my list. I don't even think I would have never even gotten in there. Um, but yeah, the the price tag at PC is quite large as well. Quinnipiac was like that as well. Uh, yes, Brick. So exactly, it was over two hundred thousand to go full time. Yo, Pike's here. What's up, Pike? Welcome. Chris in the chat. Thank you so much for being here, man. Really, really appreciate you stopping in. Going, Really pulling to see if UMass can pull this off. Both of these teams are looking for their first ever national championship. So this is going to be a first-time winner no matter who wins, which is going to be really, really cool. 100% uh, Dork. What's going on? Welcome. Vlior, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Chris says college apps this year were utter ass with the insane increase in applicants. I bet, dude. I am so glad I'm out of school now and didn't have to deal with all this while in school. Jeremiah, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. This game is on ESPN, guys. This game is on ESPN. I'm not sure about Canada. If it's on in Canada or whatnot, but I know in the U.S. it's on ESPN. Hey, Danny, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Quinnipiac is very expensive, THG. Aaron, welcome. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We are getting ready for puck drop. We're just a couple minutes away. Um... It's on TSN in Canada. Thank you for that, Niners fan. Uh, it's on TSN in Canada, and it's on uh, ESPN here in the United States. Stefan, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you stopping in. We're getting ready for puck drop here. National championship game. Both of these teams going for their first ever titles. Or TSN2, there you go. Hey, Avi, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. So it looks like TSN2 in Canada and ESPN here in the U.S. Uh, 100% uh, dork. I know Murray played really, really well, but if you get your starting goaltender back, I feel like you're probably going to play your starting goaltender. So, uh, from the lineup sheet, it looks like, um, Lindbergh's going to be back in, in goal starting for this one. 
Yeah, prayers to the main coach, um, Red Gendron. Uh, obviously, very unexpected death. Um, just kind of a shock. Um, so definitely think thoughts and thoughts and prayers with uh, with his family, and um, that's definitely not something that you ever want to see. Uh, Will, what's going on? Welcome. My favorite NCAA hockey team, Shane, is Providence College. Uh, but I, that, cause my sister goes there. Um, but, um, I'll be rooting for, I mean, I support all the local Massachusetts, Rhode Island, all the hockey East schools, really. I would be pulling for any of them. Uh, no brick. So it is a Patriots hat. It is not Chicago bears. I actually haven't worn this hat much. I got it last year, but the Patriots were so embarrassing last year. Um, that, um. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to wear it a lot. Yeah, Gendron was a good coach. Really uh, sad that he's passed on, for sure. Um, hey, Bubaloo, that's really cool, actually. Uh, best UMass players of all time. De Jonathan Quick, I think, is definitely the best. Forgotten, or not, not forgotten, but underrated UMass player, Frank Vetrano. Went to UMass Amherst and now has put a pretty decent NHL career together. So I would say Frank for Toronto. Uh, yeah, my parents are upstairs watching this, Daniel. They're, uh, I, I know my mom had it on. I'm sure my dad's watching with her. Um, hey, Mike K. Jr., welcome. That's cool. Daniel says St. Cloud 3-1. to one. Um, Avi says UMass 2-1. to one. Oh yeah, obviously Kale McCarr. Uh, Kale McCarr's at. I mean, Jonathan Quick has two cups, so it's kind of hard you argue right now. But no, McCarr played two. Avi McCarr played two years at UMass. Um, but uh, yeah, Quick McCarr Vitrano would come after them. Uh, Penn State Shane has a D one college hockey team. I don't know how good they were this year. Um, living La Barbara, what's up? Mean Girl Hockey, what's up? We are getting ready for puck drop here. Teams are lined up at center ice. I do have the, I don't know the full rosters of these teams very well, so I might have to look at the lineup a little bit. But we are underway in St. Cloud State into the offensive zone, but that's going to be an early offsides, and we're going to get a whistle just six seconds in. Hopefully, this is a great game. Wow, I did not know that, Jack. Welcome to the stream, and Nate Schmidt. Played for St. Cloud State. I did not know that. That is awesome. Neutral zone faceoff here. Gaudette in to take it against Walker. And Gaudette wins it back for the Minutemen. A 100% dork with a 10. Thank you so much. Oliver Chow now into the offensive zone. Shot on goal. Save there by Rennick. UMass in the offensive end trying to keep it. St. Cloud State trying to get out. Please get some dono hype for 100% dork. Thank you so much for the 10. Very much appreciated. Underwater, welcome to the stream. Thank you. Really appreciate it. That one gets moved up now. Walker. Pass. And that pass is dropped back. And that's offsides. And St. Cloud State having a little trouble getting into the offensive zone here. They've been ahead of the play a couple of times. Neutral zone face off again. New lines out for these teams. Bob, that's Bobby Trevino with it. One of UMass's better players. Moved up now and trying to get it into the offensive end. They dump it deep, but it's taken back by St. Cloud. They'll go behind their net. Off the boards here to Meyer. Meyer back D to D. Out of the zone. St. Cloud stayed up now into the UMass end. Looking to get a shot on goal here. That one gets sent in. We're just about a minute in. Trying to get the cycle game going in the offensive zone. I think so, Daniel. Considering you're about all, uh, you're a big fan of anything Minnesota. I would think so. Yeah, that one gets cleared all the way down. Taken back now. St. Cloud State regrouping in their own zone. A minute twenty in behind the net. Moved up now through neutral ice and stolen away though by UMass. But St. Cloud right back in two on one shot off the pipe. Absolutely rang the pipe there. Could have easily been 1-0 St. Cloud State. Straight pipe. 
And UMass now has to try and get this out of the zone, which they do. It's sent all the way down. It's going to be icing. And that is icing against UMass. It will come back the other way. And St. Cloud will get an offensive zone faceoff. Straight off the post there. What an opportunity. UMass doesn't handle the puck well. And that goes right off the crossbar for Mietten and Toronto Maple Leafs draft pick. Right off the crossbar. Ozone draw now for St. Cloud State. And they win it back. But it goes past the defenseman and out of the zone. They'll have to go back to their own end and regroup here. Up quickly through the neutral zone. Moved in now. Del Geizo takes it. And that's going to be icing against St. Cloud State. So now it comes back to the other end of the ice. And UMass gets their shot at an offensive zone draw. Um, one nothing Columbus already. Wow. Thank you for that update. Um... Aaron, we're still scoreless here. Just a couple minutes into this national championship game. Cleared out there off the faceoff. Three on two up ice. Dumped in by the Huskies. They go in deep after it on the four check now. Move behind the net in front. And Lindbergh has to cover that up with the glove. And now we got a little pushing and shoving. Cockrell and one of the UMass defensemen with a little shoving in front of the net there. But it breaks up quickly. And, uh... Let's see, let me pull up the lineup here. See, that is number 26. That's Colin Felix for the UMass Minutemen. Hey, Mikhail, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Ozone draw here for St. Cloud State. And it's one back defensively, though. Kessel takes it for UMass. Up the boards and cleared out. Now through the neutral zone, into the offensive end. Gaudette down the boards, behind the net now. Looking for a pass out in front. Chance there. Good job getting back defensively by the Huskies. Now they bring it through the neutral zone themselves. Walker into the offensive end. Pass into the middle. Stolen there by UMass, though, and that breaks up the play. Moved up now. Zach Jones into the offensive end. Jones sends it deep into the corner. He'll peel off and get back into a more defensive posture. Out there with Del Geizo. Mark Del Geizo takes it behind the net. He leaves it, though. Jones takes it up the boards, off glass. And UMass is able to get it out. Now jumping up into the play is Del Geizo. He loses it off his stick, though, and St. Cloud gets on the back check. They bring it back the other way. UMass does a good job getting back, though. They go in on the four check again as it's dumped in. Uh, yes, Canucks will reopen facilities tomorrow as long as there's no more positives today or tomorrow. And uh, they should be resuming games on Friday, which is very good news that they're able to get back into action. So we're 16:40 to go here in the first period. Nothing, nothing in the national championship game. That one gets sent down, and UMass will try and start the breakout here. Nice hit there, but they're able to get it out. Good step up by St. Cloud State, but UMass moved the puck a little bit before. Tomorrow I am doing the Bruins and Capitals at 7 p.m. There is no, uh, there's no NBC game tomorrow, so I am doing uh, Bruins caps at 7 p.m. Chance here now, moved into the middle, back to the point. St. Cloud State setting up in the offensive zone, top of the circle there, saved by Ling Lindbergh. Did not have traffic in front, so he came out, took out the, ang took away the angle, and made a nice stop there. Hey, Aaron, thank you for the update. 2-0 Columbus now. What is going on there? Wow. Chicago not ready to play tonight. Move now. St. Cloud State again, cycling in the offensive zone. They've had a lot more ozone time than UMass has to this point in the game. Hey, Tyler, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Moved back there behind the net. UMass trying to get the breakout started. They're skating it up now into the neutral zone. Over the red line, they'll dump it in deep. They have not got a lot going in the offensive zone yet. Rennick plays it behind the net, but in St. Cloud is able to clear on the wing. 15-20 here to go in the first. That one gets dumped in by Zach Jones. Cross corner. St. Cloud gets back, though. Good forecheck from UMass. 
Hey, 76ers fan, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, Flyers, they need defense. They need defense if they're going to do anything. That goes into the offensive zone. Shot there by Gaudette, and Rennick makes the save. 14.53 remaining, and we're going to have an offensive zone draw here for the Minutemen. That's going to bring us to our first commercial break here of this game. So first commercial stoppage, St. Cloud State and UMass still 0-0. St. Cloud State has definitely um, definitely been the more offensive team to this point in the game, but we'll see if UMass can get their legs going. Uh, Carter Hart's had a very tough season this year, Tyler, but I still like him long term, but um, this has been a very bad year for Carter Hart. All right, guys, we're here at uh, we're here at the first commercial stop. It's still a scoreless game so far. National championship on the line. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. It would mean a lot if you hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I cover all kinds of hockey here on this channel. Obviously, mostly NHL, but doing college here tonight, and it would really help out a lot. Um, Really, really appreciate everybody being here. Also, cheers in the chat to everybody. We've got a nice pink Whitney, pink lemonade mix here. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Um, right now, Brad Marchand, Tyler. Brad Marchand is the best Bruins player right now. Uh, but cheers in the chat, everybody. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. The support has been unreal. And uh, let's, have, uh, let's, let's have some fun tonight. Cheers. All right, we are back from commercial break. Hey, Bobby, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here, man. Really, really appreciate it. We'll see if uh, UMass can pull this off or not, but well, it's been a uh, it's been a good game. Uh, Tyler, Colorado Avalanche. Offensive zone draw here. That one won back by St. Cloud State. They're going to get it quickly out of their zone. UMass has not been able to spend any significant time in the offensive end yet in this game. That one turned over behind. Sent out in front. Chance here off the side of the net. Trying to get the cycle game going. Here's St. Cloud State in the offensive zone. Detroit and uh, Carolina scored. All right, I will update that at the next whistle. Prosperous, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Ooh, I feel like that would be good, Pike. I feel like that would actually be good. UMass trying to get it out of their defensive zone here. Still not able to, but we get a hand pass call against St. Cloud State, and that's going to bring a neutral zone faceoff up. All right, so Detroit has... Wait. Red Wings and Hurricanes are tied at one, so they both scored a goal. Okay. Thank you, guys. Neutral zone draw here. One back by the Minutemen. Trying to get it going now. Dumped into the offensive end. Rennick comes out to play it for St. Cloud. Up the boards. Kept in, though, by UMass, at least for now. Pucks down in the corner. We got a battle for it. Behind the net. UMass able to take it away. Now they cycle it deep, trying to get something going in the offensive zone here. They haven't had a lot in the offensive end. And that's a bad D to D pass at the point. Comes out, and they have to regroup in the neutral zone. That gives St. Cloud some um, chance, a chance to regroup here, and they dump it back to the UMass end. UMass now through neutral ice. Back and forth game. Trying to get it deep into the offensive zone. They do, but they're going to need to probably get fresh legs on the ice. Fourth line was out there. Now that's going to give St. Cloud a, uh, a move out. Yeah, real good move for the Lightning, um, Prosperous. They needed another defenseman. That would, I would say, be like the one big thing that they needed. And uh, Savard's a good one. Yes, obvi obviously Sidney Crosby is not the player that he was when he was putting up 120 points per season. 
That's not even a question. Chance here now. St. Cloud State in the offensive zone. Oh, shot there goes wide of Lindbergh. Moved in the corner now. UMass trying to get it out. They come up ice. You Couple of St. Cloud players fall down. We got a 2 on 0 for UMass. And they score! First goal of the game belongs to the Minutemen as two St. Cloud State players collide and fall down, giving UMass a 2 on 0. And it is 1 0 Minutemen. <laughs> What a way to score the first goal of the game. UMass up 1-0 here. What a way to score. Uh, Daniel, like the Bruins aren't good because they're really not. Uh, Aaron Bollinger. Bowling or Bollinger? I wonder if they have a pronunciation here. Um, defenseman jumping up into the play. No, they don't have a pronunciation guide here on their thing. St. Cloud does. But, uh, wow. 2 on 0 goal there. Hey, what's going on, Sal? Welcome to the stream from Behind the Arc Basketball. Here comes St. Cloud looking to tie it up. Nice shot block there, though. Welcome to the stream, Sal. Thank you so much for watching. UMass brings it back into the offensive zone. Pass through the middle, doesn't connect. Chow gets to it first, though. Yeah, goaltender had no chance there whatsoever. It was a 2-on-0 for the minute, man. St. Cloud, those two players collided, and that was it. St. Cloud State couldn't get back. Dogaizo takes it now. Into the offensive end. UMass back on the attack here. Up 1-0. 11.34 left in the first. And that puck chips up and out of play. Hey, Brian. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Bad turnover there in the offensive zone for St. Cloud State. Two players collide. And that gives UMass the 2 on 0. Oh. Absolutely nothing the goaltender could do about that one. Sullivan and Bollinger with a great uh, give and go there. And one nothing UMass here. Uh, honestly, Jeremiah, I have no idea. I have no idea. I feel like he might be. I'll look that up at intermission. I'll look that up when we get to the first intermission. I don't know off the top of my head. Hey, St. Martin, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We're about halfway through the first period. UMass has a 1-0 lead here over St. Cloud State on a 2-on-0 goal. And now St. Cloud coming back into the offensive zone. Looking to tie it up. Pass into the middle. Gets blocked. Good defense there from UMass. Moving up the boards now. Not able to get it out. Good keep in there. St. Cloud, they knock it down again. Solid forechecking here from the Huskies. Behind the net now. Taken by the Minutemen. They're not able to do anything with it, though. Huskies hard on the forecheck again. Mietinen down behind the net. He's playing it. He is not. Thank you, Red Rubber. Appreciate that. So he is not related to Phil Kessel. Different uh, different Kessel family. So that one's cleared all the way down here by UMass. 10.08 to go in the first. St. Cloud State trying to start the breakout now with fresh legs on the ice. UMass, I believe, got a change as well. Hey, Mike and Julie, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Shots on goal are actually 3-1 to one for Matt UMass here. So despite St. Cloud State having a lot of time in the offensive zone in the early part of this game, they weren't getting a lot of shots through. Um, not going to happen, Prosperous, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad. 
The Bruins re- need to shake things up for next year. I mean, they're not going anywhere this year. They they need to shake things up next year. Um, Detroit two to one. We head to another commercial break here. Thank you for that update. Detroit has taken the lead over Carolina. Wow. Uh, no, Saint Martin. UMass has never won a uh, a national title. Actually, neither of these teams have ever won a national title. So no matter who wins tonight, whichever team wins it, it will be their first national championship ever, which is obviously really really cool to see. Absolutely. Um. All right, yeah, different family for um for Kessel, not not related to Phil Kessel, but um there is Matthew Kessel, a St. Louis Blues draft pick on the UMass Minutemen, but as we are finding out, he is not related to Phil. Uh yeah, BC lost St. Martin. BC got to I believe the second game of the regionals and then lost. Uh yeah, Bruins definitely need to shake up uh, Bobby without a doubt. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, Blackhawks score to make it 2-1. to one. Thank you for that update, guys. Just in time as we come back from commercial break here. Um... Tony, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We got 940 here left in the first period. UMass has a one-goal lead. UMass has a one nothing lead here. Only goal of the game so far. Um, but we'll see. St. Cloud State uh, obviously pushing hard to get this thing tied up. It's that one. One back there by the Minutemen, and they dump it into the offensive zone. St. Cloud dumps it right back the other way. Huskies out through neutral ice. Walker couldn't control it, though. Gaudette takes a nice hit at the blue line, and Huskies take it back. Hey, absolutely, St. Martin, absolutely, as that one gets dumped in here by the Huskies. St. Cloud on the forecheck. UMass, though, good job getting it out. Move through neutral ice, and they just dump it in. They'll head off for a line change. 9.07 left here in the first. Nick, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, I love to brink it so much, Jeremiah. He is he's one of my he might be my favorite Blackhawk player. I love Alex to brink it. This one gets moved up now. UMass keeps it in the offensive zone. They circle shot there. Nice glove save from Rennick. And he'll grab that and cover it up with 841 left in the first. Ozone draw coming up here for the Minutemen. Oh yeah. Uh, Matthews has Unless he gets hurt and, like, doesn't play the last month or something, Matthews is probably is almost locked for the Richard this year. Absolutely, Jeremiah. But he, he would have to go down with an injury and miss significant time not to. Um, absolutely, St. Martin, 100% as well. Some legendary coaches in college hockey. It's UMass here trying to keep it in the offensive end. Welcome, everybody, in the stream. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you watching. Eight and a half to go in the first period here. UMass through the neutral zone with a one nothing lead. They dump it in. Rennick out behind. Leaves it for his defenseman. Trying to start the breakout now is St. Cloud State. Kept in again. Good pinch there from the Minutemen defense. Uh, Notre Dame, I don't think, was nearly as good this year as they were supposed to be, St. Martin. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just because it was a weird year because of COVID or what. But, um... I'm not sure what happened there. Matthew Kessel is listed at 6'3". Whether that's accurate or not, I don't know him in person, so I couldn't tell you, but he is listed at 6'3". So that one goes back. St. Cloud State, long shot from the point. Blocked down in front, though. UMass gets it out. Moved in here. UMass back into the offensive zone. That one goes back.
chance here now. Cleared out all the way down there by St. Cloud State. Lindbergh comes out and plays it behind his net. Gets it to Zach Jones. Jones up the wall. Good hit there, but UMass gets it out. Another good hit from St. Cloud State. Starting to pick up the physicality a little bit here. We are under seven minutes now remaining in the first period as that one goes D to D to Gaudet in the middle now for UMass into the offensive zone. Tries to go around the D, gets around one guy, but the second guy comes over and makes a nice defensive play. Step up there, but St. Cloud State gets it out of the zone. Moved in here. Oh, going in towards the net and flying into the crease there was one of the St. Cloud State forwards and Lindbergh is down. Lind the net comes flying off. UMass's goaltender is down. Everyone went flying into the crease there led by one of the St. Cloud State forwards and he nailed Lindbergh there. And Lindbergh is still on his hands and knees, very slow to get back up. Goes to the net, gets kind of checked by the defenseman into the post, half into the post and half into the goalie. And that was, um, that was Nick Perbix from St. Cloud State. It looks like he hit post first and then hit into, uh, then hit into Lindbergh there. But Lindbergh is up and he looks good. He looks good to go. He's back to his feet and uh, seems okay. So Philip Lindbergh staying in net there for UMass. He looks good to go. Ozone draw here for St. Cloud State. 627 left in the first. And UMass wins the draw back defensively. Trying to get the breakout going now. They get checked in the corner and turn the puck over. Wraparound chance there. Blocked aside. Now we got a little bit of a scrum behind the net. Digging for the puck along the boards. Felix is in there. For UMass. And that puck comes out. Goes by everybody and comes out of the zone where St. Cloud State has to go back and get it. Hey, Sutton, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. NHL Talk, welcome to the stream. We got an offsides here. Another neutral zone faceoff coming up. 551 left in the first. UMass so far holding on to this 1-0 lead. Getting down towards the later stages of the period here. Really, really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. I mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new. Cover a lot of hockey on this channel. Mostly NHL, but a good amount of college when I can as well. Um, obviously doing college here tonight for the national championship. Long shot there. That one sent in front and out of the zone. No, not able to get it out. UMass, great job. I thought that thought St. Cloud had an easy clear there, and they did not. UMass here, still getting the cycle game going in the offensive end. Coming over, helping out. Getting it down behind the net. Now St. Cloud will try and go up the other way. They get checked off the puck again, though. Great four-checking pressure here from the Minutemen. St. Cloud State struggling in their own zone. Finally, they just flip it over everybody. And UMass will have to regroup at their own blue line. And gets sent down. Anthony Del Gaizo on the four check behind the net. Mark's brother. That one gets sent up. Sent back in deep though by UMass. Trying to get a, a second goal here. That one nice save there by Rennick. And now we got some more pushing and shoving after the whistle. St. Cloud State not happy. Del Gaizo absolutely dropped one of their guys in front of the net. And now we got quite the scrum going on here between these two. Hey, Yoshi Bros, welcome to the stream. Luca, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hammer was not happy there that he got knocked over. He went right back after Delgaizo. 
So 440 left in the first here. UMass with the one nothing lead here in the national title game of college hockey. It's been a good one so far, and it's, it seems to be ramping up as the period goes along, too. We're going to head to commercial break. So commercial stoppage here, probably the last one of the period with under five minutes to go. And um, just want to thank everybody for being here. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you. It would mean a lot if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Cover um, much as much hockey as I can here on this channel. Um, and uh, it would really mean a lot. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We're here in the later stages of the first. We'll see if UMass takes this lead into the locker room or if St. Cloud State is able to tie this thing up here near the end of the first. But uh, it's been a good game so far, and I can't wait to see how the rest of it goes. I think the intensity is just going to pick up and pick up as this one goes along. It was kind of a, uh, it was kind of a feeling out first five minutes or so, but um, since then, it's just been on an, in, an incline of level of play and intensity as this period's gone along. And it's only going to get bigger and, and more intense as it goes towards the end here with literally the championship on the line. Mr. No Name, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for watching as we've got a good one going. Let's see, NHL draft picks in this game. We talked about it earlier. A lot of them are pretty late round picks, so the highest draft pick in this game is Zach Jones, who is a third rounder. And they're going to redrop or redo that puck drop there. 440 left in the first. Ozone draw here for UMass. It's one back, though, by the Huskies defensively, and they clear the zone. Up into neutral ice now. Taken. And we're going to have a penalty call here. It's a slashing call against the Minutemen, and that is going to give St. Cloud State a power play. Their first power play chance, and the first power play chance of this game. Anthony Del Geizo is going to go to the box here for a slashing, and St. Cloud State gets the first man advantage opportunity. Hey, Hawks tied it up. Thank you for that update. Wow. So Columbus had a 2-0 lead, and now it's gone. We are underway here. Early clear on the kill. Good job there by the Minutemen PK. Moved up now. St. Cloud's power play dumps it into the offensive zone. High off glass, and it must have gone up and out of play as we get a whistle here. So that looks like it went over into the netting, and we'll have a stoppage with 4.16 to go. Still a minute 43 of power play time left here for the Huskies. Hey, Ace of Spades, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Toronto's up 2-0 now? Wait, what? I didn't know Toronto. there was even a goal yet in the Toronto game. Good penalty kill so far here. That one's cleared again by UMass. Now here comes St. Cloud State out of their zone. Through neutral ice. Trying to get into the offensive end. They get taken down. Nice shot block. No penalty again uh, on that coming up. And it's cleared again there by the Minutemen. That one gets sent down. Moved in here. Just enjoying the national championship, Ace. 107 left on the power play here for the Huskies into the offensive end. Curl back, possession play now. Trying to get it back to the point. It's stolen by the UMass penalty killer and sent all the way down again. Great job on the PK so far. Uh, yes, Ace, yes. Matthews has both goals, so he's at 30 now on the season. Unbelievable chance here. What a save with the glove by Lindbergh. And that gets cleared by the Minutemen defense. Really nice stop there from Philip Lindbergh. Moved up now. Taken by UMass, and they clear it all the way down again. St. Cloud's power play is struggling here. Down to three minutes left in the first. And only 25 seconds left on the man advantage. This is the finals, Mr. No Name. Whoever wins this game wins the national championship. 
Cleared again here as UMass is killing off this power play with uh with some looking really really good on the PK here, and that's gonna do it. The final second ticks off, and the we're back to five on five hockey. St. Cloud could not tie the game up with the man advantage as that comes back out of the zone and they'll regroup and neutralize. Dumped back in here by the Huskies. Lindbergh behind his net, leaves it for his defenseman. Four checking pressure coming from St. Cloud State. Up the boards, Oliver Chow backhands it out of the zone. Sent right back in, but Chow takes it again for UMass. He gets hit by a couple of guys, but keeps on moving it forward into the offensive zone now. Minutemen down deep with 2.02 to go here in the first. Wraparound chance. Rennick makes the save there, and it goes to the corner. That one gets sent down. Move to the corner, back to the point. Behind the net now. St. Cloud State takes it off glass and not able to... Oh, they do get it out. Del Guys, they the linesman says it did come over the line. Del Guizo couldn't keep it in, so... Going to be a neutral zone faceoff here with 136 left in the first. UMass still with the 1-0 lead. Yeah, St. Cloud State is a college in Minnesota. Um, but Minnesota Duluth lost and um, Minnesota State lost in the uh, in, in the, uh, the semifinals. But, um, so St. Cloud State is also from Minnesota. So three of the four teams were from the state of Minnesota that made it to the, fr the Frozen Four this year. Bro, 76ers fan, that is not what a Minuteman is. Uh, a Minuteman was a soldier in the Revolutionary War or that, like, like at the Battle of Lexington and Concord and at the beginning of the Revolutionary War, before there was even a real uh, you, like American army to fight the British, they had Minutemen who were just basically farmers with guns who with, you could call them all together. UMass just scores again! And the Minutemen have a 2-0 lead on a wraparound pass back door there, 104 left in the first, and UMass makes it 2-0. <laughs> So yeah, Minutemen are soldiers from the Revolutionary War. They are not clocks. <laughs> and it is 2-0 UMass here. A wraparound pass across the crease. And who finished that off there? Lebster finishes it off. Finishes it off for the Minutemen. And... Ooh, they might be looking at this for offsides. That was close entering the zone. Oh boy. That might be coming back. No, I guess not. Can they challenge offsides in uh in college? Maybe they can't. Cuz that was definitely very close. Hey, 100% dork with the 10. Thank you so much. Get that dono hype in the chat for 100% dork. Really, really appreciate that, man. I guess they can't challenge offsides in college because that was very, very tight. But either way, 2-0 here, UMass. And they have the lead here nearing the end of the first period. We're down to 37 seconds left. St. Cloud State trying to break out of their zone. Lebster finishes it off. Moved in here. Backhand in. St. Cloud trying to get it on goal. Down in the corner. Back door. Nice defensive play there by the UMass four getting back. Who was that? He got a stick in the lane right there, and that could have saved a goal. That was Josh Lopina. What a, what a play defensively there from Lopina. Ten seconds left in the first, and it's still 2 nothing Minutemen here. Very good first period for them. St. Cloud State trying to get something going here. I feel like if they get on the board, they'll at least have some confidence and be able to get something going, but they've got to get on the board first. Face-off one. 
Back to the point here. Dumped in deep. Six seconds left. They're going to have to work quickly. Otherwise, we're going to go to the break 2-0. Final second here, and that is going to just run out the clock in the deep in the zone. And we are at the end of the first period as we head to break here. First intermission coming up. We'll have some time to talk in the chat. It is 2-0 UMass over St. Cloud State here at the end of one. Um, goals were scored by uh, Bollinger and uh, Lebster for the Minutemen. And uh, that is where we get to right now as UMass ends period one with a two-goal lead. So thank you guys all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, you know, obviously it's great to have so many people in the chat for a college hockey game. I, uh, it's, it's great to have you all here for, for college and just supporting the channel in, in so many ways. And I really, really, um, can't, can't thank all you guys enough. Um, Ace, tomorrow I'll be doing the Bruins and Capitals game at 7 p.m. There's no NBC game tomorrow, so, um, that's really my only option. But, uh, I'll be doing Bruins caps at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, thank you guys all so much for being here. Like I said, please, please, please hit that thumbs up. It helps the stream and the channel a lot. And if you're not subscribed yet, it would also mean a lot if you would hit that subscribe button as I cover a ton, excuse me, a ton of hockey as much as I can on this channel. I really, really appreciate anyone who wants to become part of the community here. So we are at the sec uh, first intermission. It's a 2-0 lead for UMass here at the end of one. And uh, Carolina's tied the game against Detroit. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything else that I missed as far as updating NHL scores right now. I think that was it. But, um, again, we've got some time to kind of hang out and chat here at the intermission while we, uh, wait for the second period to start. But that was a really good first period for, for UMass. Uh, the first five minutes, um, really belonged to St. Cloud State. They had a lot of offensive zone time, but... Uh, once UMass got their game going, they kind of took uh, took over more as that period went on. So, and they they were able to score a couple of goals where St. Cloud State hasn't got anything past Lindbergh yet. So, um, that's where we're at right now. We'll see what kind of push the Huskies have in the second period. I'm certainly expecting a uh, a push. I I think they're kind of going to come out strong in the second and try and tie this thing up as quickly as possible. Hey, that is awesome, Bean uh, Bobby. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. That is absolutely awesome to hear. Enjoy, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy it as much as you can, man, for sure. And uh, have have a great time. Um, yeah, probably Bubaloo. Second half of a back to back too. Um, I don't like Bruins. Um. I don't like the Bruins' chances tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Hey, Kent, welcome to the stream. What's going on? Welcome. No, I love the Bruins, Patrick, but I don't like their chances tomorrow. But Boston will forever be my favorite team, so I'll be rooting for them, but I don't think they're going to win tomorrow. Uh, yes, you can, you can bat the puck out of the zone if you want, Eric. There's no rule against that, as long as... All, you just can't grab the puck. You can't, like, actually close your hand and grab the puck. But if the puck's in the air, you can swat it like that all you want. Hey, Jeremiah, I would love some overtime. Would absolutely love some overtime. Um, yeah, all the 7 o'clock NHL games must be at intermission right now, like this one is. Uh, Parker, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. 
I actually might as well just change the ticker to second period because they're all at intermission at this point. Hey, St. Martin, it was a good first period, man. It was a good first period. We'll see. I, I think St. Saint Cloud State is going to have uh, a, a big push in the second period, I think. So um, th this game is far, far from over. St. Cloud is going to have a big push in the second, I would imagine. Um, they're they're going to come out strong in the second period and really try and, try and get their game going and even this thing up as quickly as possible. Hey, Kent, awesome. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, St. Cloud State alumni. Well, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We're at intermission right now. Obviously, just kind of hanging out in the chat, chilling while we wait for the next period to begin. Um, but I, I, this has been a good game so far, and I think it's gonna get, uh, I think it's gonna get even better as we come down to the wire here. Uh, oh boy, Avi's got a funny story. Let's go. Hey Jeremiah, anything is possible, man. Those, I don't. I'm not even gonna say that record because I don't want to jinx it. Like you, any. This is a whole. It's a championship game. Anything can happen. You, those that kind of stuff kind of gets thrown out the window. Hey Finn, what's going on? Welcome. All right, Avi's got a funny story. Drop it, bro. I can't wait to see this. Ryan. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Says UMass is the better team. Uh, they certainly were in that first period, but we'll, I mean, any, listen, this is hockey. Anything can happen. Hockey is, um, yeah, hockey's one of those sports where, you know, you think one thing's going to happen and then the exact opposite does. And we see it all the time in the NHL, particularly in the playoffs, where like, it'll be a top seed against a lower team and the next thing you know the lower team is sweeping the top seed or something like that so it's just like how did that happen it's hockey it's the way it goes it, especially in a one game playoff like this where it literally all comes down to this one game uh, I, I have a feeling that this one's going to come right down to the end uh finn this game is on espn ryan lives 30 minutes away from umass that is really cool that is awesome. Uh, Avi says, Friday, all right, here's Avi's story. Uh, Friday, we did a senior sunrise and just talking with your friends, and you said how much money for me to jump in off the dock into the lake. He said $100, so you did it. Uh, then he got all the dudes to jump in at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, definitely worth the 100 bucks, man. Jumping in a lake for $100, I would do that every single time, man. That's, an, that's a quick Benjamin right there, bro, but that is awesome. Bro, people, he really thought you wouldn't do that for 100 bucks. Jesus. I'd be in that lake immediately. <laughs> Oh, Bubaloo missed a seven-game parlay yesterday by just one game. I would be furious uh, for sure. Uh, no, rain doesn't interfere with me, Ace. No, rain, rain's not a problem. Wind is the only thing that would be a problem. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah, which is nuts. Um, you, yeah, three of the four Frozen Four teams went uh, are from the state of Minnesota. So, obviously, Minnesota dominating college hockey from from like a regional standpoint. But they, I mean, if UMass if UMass wins this game, then the title won't go to any of the Minnesota teams, and will go to the one Hockey East team that made it this far. Oh, Jeremiah, if it's still frozen, definitely. Uh, honestly, St. Martin, I am open to pretty much everything, St. Martin, because this team is just frustrating. Um, I'm open to almost anything. Uh, Finn, I'm not, I mean, UMass obviously with a 2-0 lead is in a good spot, but 
I don't think this game's over yet. I think St. Cloud could have a solid second period and get right back in this, probably score two or three of their own. So um, I, I don't know who's going to win. Um, I, I don't want to jinx anyone either. So I'm just going to stay quiet and we'll see how the game goes. Yeah, St. Saint Pl Cloud is missing uh, um, Ethan Brodzinski, who's their top goal scorer. So that's uh, obviously a loss there, to say the least, um, for this for St. Cloud State. Let's see here. Um, or Easton, not not. Why did I say Ethan? Easton Brodzinski, number. He's their top goal scorer. He had twenty. He had, uh, he, no, he's number 26. He had 13 goals this regular season. Let me see. Yeah, Easton Brodzinski, 26. Not able to play because of an injury. Um, and he led the team in goal scoring with uh, 13 goals in the season this year. So uh, obviously a big loss there for St. Cloud State. And uh, they, they have to play this championship game without him. Uh, UMass had to play their frozen their semifinal game without four players, including their leading goal scorer and goal starting goaltender Philip Lindbergh, uh, because of COVID protocols. So the fact that UMass even won that game without those four guys is uh, is I mean kind of a bit of a surprise for for the Minutemen. Well, yeah, they either of these teams can win, and I think either of these teams are good enough to beat anybody. Absolutely, they're they're in the championship game for a reason, Ryan. Absolutely. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hockey is easily UMass's best chance of getting a national title. Saint Martin, their their football team is horrible. I've seen them a few times. They're not good. Uh, Finn, I think it's unlikely that Chicago makes the playoffs at this point. I think Nashville's going to get in, but Chicago it's it's down to either Chicago or Nashville for that last central spot. Um Yeah, UMass football is really really bad. Um Um I don't know, Jeremiah. I feel like I I feel like uh I don't. I, no, I. I think in a. If this was an 82 game season, I think McDavid was going over 120 points. And I. I don't think it matters who they play. I think McDavid. If this was an 82 game season, he was going over 120 points. Connor McDavid is just that good. He. They have absolutely beaten up on the Ottawa Senators, though. You are right about that. But I. Uh, I just. I. I don't. Like I, I think McDavid would have dominated the league no matter what. He, he is, he is the best hockey player in the NHL. I don't, I, I'm not sure why they went D, D one, um, Ryan for football. I feel like they didn't used to be, but then they went D one and now they like don't win a game. Hey, the Porpoise, UMass alumni, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for uh, for being here. We'll see if UMass can hold on here, but hockey is definitely their best sport. Um, yeah, Seattle's going to be really cool to see what happens, like who they get on their team. And now to have a 32nd team in the league, even out the conferences at 16 on you know, East and West, it's... I'm excited for the Kraken to come in. I really am. Oh, yeah, Jack. Joe Sackick, whose poster is still hanging on my bedroom wall. I had that, I got that Joe Sackick poster when I was a little kid. I had to only be like four or five years old. And that poster is still hanging on my wall.
One of my all-time favorite players. <clears throat> Not sure exactly how much time is left in this intermission. I feel like we have been at break for a decent amount of time, though, so hopefully not too long. Uh, but we are at the first intermission here. UMass has a 2-0 lead over St. Cloud State. Um, still 40 minutes of hockey to be played, so this one is far from over. And like I said, I I'm expecting uh, a big-time push from St. Cloud State um, in this second period. I, I don't think they're going to be happy with the way that they played in the first. Um, I think UMass had a very solid period, but I'm expecting a, uh, a much bigger push here from the Huskies in this second one. So it's going to be, it's going to be a fun, fun rest of the game. And I cannot wait to see how this one goes. Um, oh yeah. Rupe Hintz has had a really underrated year this year, Avi. Uh, well, the problem is he's been injured and he's missed a lot of, he's missed a pretty significant amount of time, which kind of. Like, kind of takes away from it somewhat because, like, he'll be out of the lineup and people will forget about him. But he's had a really, really good season when he's been healthy. Hey, John, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, Aiden, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Um, I don't think the Stars get the fourth seed, Avi. That team has been so inconsistent this year. I have absolutely no faith in the Stars to win consistently. That I don't think that that team's not going to the playoffs. I get that they have they have games in hand and stuff, but they're pretty far back. Let me see. Let me see the standings. Dallas is five points back and has two games in hand over. Chicago and Nashville. I uh, can they make up five points in the last month? I mean, they're a 500 team this year. I don't know. I mean, if they if they turn it on, if they turn it on for the last month, they definitely have a chance. Uh, I just I I mean Nashville. The way that Nashville's been playing, they're gonna be hard to catch. I don't know. D Dallas has. Dallas has more of a chance than I originally thought, but I, I'm not picking them to get into the playoffs. I think Nashville is going to get that fourth spot. They've been on fire recently. Dallas has a better chance than I thought looking at the standings right now, but I still... Uh, I, I'm still leaning Nashville there. Um, it's all right, Jack. Not a huge, not a huge fan, but it's all right. Yeah, but the Preds can win those games, Avi. That's the thing. Like the Preds can easily win those games, especially Tampa Bay's decided to take a break for the rest of the. Well, I can't necessarily say for the rest of the season, but Tampa Bay decided to take a break. Uh, at least for the last few games. So, um, and I just don't trust Dallas to win a majority of their games. Like Dallas will lose games to Detroit. I have n the the stars have been so inconsistent this year. Anyway, guys, we are back for the start of the second. We are underway. Puck is dropped. Second period. Two nothing UMass here into the offensive zone. Saved there by Rennick. Hey, Cousins Club, what's going on? Wow, you know him personally. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Oh, now we have some more scrum going on here. We got a penalty call coming up. I think Donahue is going to head to the box here. Yes, he is. And UMass is going to get an early power play here in the second period, trying to extend their lead. UMass power play, tripping call here against Donahue. 
Seamus Donahue there for St. Cloud State heads to the box. Cousins Club, that is absolutely awesome. He scored a goal. He scored the first goal for UMass, and it was a beauty. So that's uh, really cool that you know him. Cooper, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Here we go now. UMass in the offensive zone. Shot blocked there. Uh, Trevino tried to get it off. Kept in, though. Del Geizo with a blast. That one gets stopped. Lopina down in the corner. Gets it to Trevino. Back to the point. Del Geizo, D to D. Taken away, though. Here comes the St. Cloud State penalty kill. They're into the offensive zone. They'll throw it in on Lindbergh. Lindbergh plays it. And UMass will have to start the breakout again from their own zone. A minute 23 remaining on the power play here. Just over a minute into the second. UMass with their first power play opportunity of the game. Hey, Brian, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Lucas, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Over the red line here. Good penalty kill so far by St. Cloud State. They go in. Trying to get it in front. Good stick there, though, from UMass. Minutemen struggling to get it out of the zone, though. 50 seconds left on the power play. Oliver Chow into the offensive end. Drop pass. And given right away there by UMass and sent all the way down. Hootie's here. What's going on, Hootie? Welcome. Thank you for watching. Is that one in the neutral zone? Taken away again. Wow. Both of these power plays have been terrible. St. Cloud State did nothing on their power play, and now UMass is doing the same thing. The power plays have looked awful in this game so far. Here comes UMass now, 20 seconds left, into the offensive zone, trying to get something going here. St. Cloud trying to get it out and kill this thing off. Back to the point, long shot, that one gets blocked to the corner. Behind the net now. Chow trying again here for the Minutemen, spins off a hit. Got a couple guys on him. Still keeps possession of the puck. What a stick handling play there. Power play is over, though. We are back to five on five hockey as Donahue comes out of the box. That one gets cleared now. St. Cloud takes it, and they're able to get it up into the neutral zone and out of their end. Little less than three minutes into the second. UMass unsuccessful on the man advantage, and we still have a 2 0 score. Appreciate everybody watching. Thank you all so much for being here. That was not a good power play, Bubaloo. But neither was St. Cloud State's in the first period. So I, I, for the penalty kills are either doing really well or the power plays just don't have it. Hey, Erod, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so, so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. 3-2 to two Blackhawks. Thank you, Aaron. For that update, really, really appreciate that as that one is dumped in. UMass now, they're going to peel off for a line change. Taken now, they come off the bench and not uh, St. Cloud wasn't able to get that out of the zone. UMass in on the four check now. Cleared now finally to neutralize. UMass is going to have to try and regroup here. St. Cloud keeps it in the blue line, though, going in. And tr no, no, yes, they do call it there. Tripping there. Uh, going to be a penalty against UMass, as that was definitely a trip, I would say, looking at that. At, I know at first glance I was fully expecting a penalty call there. So uh, definitely got the stick in the skates of Mietten in there. 100% a penalty. Sullivan heads to the box. And St. Cloud State will get their second power play opportunity of the game. They did not look very good on the first power play chance. Um, we'll see if they look a little better here with their second opportunity. Ryan Sullivan tripping for UMass. And the Huskies have a chance now with the man advantage to get back into this one. Chipped out now. St. Cloud keeps it in, though, at the blue line. Hey, thank you so much, Sports Beard. Really, really appreciate that, Jeremiah. Cleared out there. Good start to the penalty kill now for UMass. Is that one sent all the way down?
Minute and a half still on the power play here for the Huskies as they bring it back into the UMass end, trying to get set up in the offensive zone. UMass penalty kill trying to clear it. Possession, though, here for the Huskies. Spin around shot. Blocker saved by Lindbergh. Nice stop there. Taken now by Kessel, and he sends it all the way down. St. Cloud's going to have to regroup as Rennick comes out and leaves it behind the net for his defenseman. That's Donahue. A minute seven remaining on the power play here, about five minutes into the second period. Moved up now through neutral ice and back into the offensive end. Pass into the middle, though, is cleared by UMass. They're on a break here, shorthanded into the offensive zone. Cutting to the middle, what a move! Backhand, and they score! Shorthanded goal for the Minutemen! And it's 3-0 UMass! What a move! That was Philip Laganov. What a move on the penalty kill for the shorthanded goal. 3 nothing with a shorty Laganov. What a move. Three zero UMass now with fourteen forty eight to go in the second period. Now the power play does continue for St. Cloud State. Thirty five seconds left on the man advantage. Cleared again though by UMass all the way down. Rennick comes out to play at under thirty seconds left. Donahue takes it behind his net. That was an absolutely gorgeous goal. Absolutely gorgeous goal there by Laganov. St. Cloud here. Final 10 seconds. They rip a shot from the top of the circle. And Lindbergh gloves that one down. Nine seconds left on the power play. 14-12 remaining here in the second period. And UMass gets a shorty here. And that gives them a three-goal lead now over St. Cloud State. What a move there around the defender. And then he's able to tuck it under the arm of Rennick. Yeah, I, I agree, Jeremiah. That's a spot where you want the goalie to get a big stop for you. But uh, breakaways are tough. Um, but the goalie, if you're going to win a championship game, you need the goalie to get a stop for you. And wasn't able to... Wasn't able to get one there. As that's going to do it for the power play, UMass cleared it down one last time. And we are back to five-on-five five hockey here. Sullivan comes out of the box. So under 14 now to go in the second. Moved through the neutral zone. St. Cloud State desperately looking for a goal to try and get back into this one. But UMass in the lead handily with a three-goal lead now over the Huskies. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. St. Cloud State has to score the next goal in this game. Has to score the next goal in this game. 13 and a half now left. Trying to get it out of their zone is St. Cloud. Behind the net. They'll try the near boards now. Set up through the neutral zone, but it's knocked down and stolen here by the Minutemen. Top of the circle. Shot there. That one goes wide to the corner. Kept in, though, by the defenseman. Second opportunity to get it out. St. Cloud clears. Back to play it now. UMass in the neutral zone. Get it trying to dump it deep into the offensive end, but not able to. Now coming back the other way. St. Cloud dumps it deep. They go in on the four check. Kale McCarr did play for UMass, as did Jonathan Quick back in the day. So that one goes into the offensive zone now. St. Cloud State trying to find it. Taken away, though, by UMass over the red line, and they dump it deep. They'll get a line change. Rennick leaves it behind the net again, letting his defenseman play the puck. Trying to start the breakout now. Backhanded. Taken away, though, by UMass again. Another turnover here for St. Cloud State, and UMass dumps it back deep. Huskies will try again on the breakout. UMass not putting a ton of pressure on him for checking wise. Only one guy. And Huskies send that through the neutral zone. And that's going to be offsides if they don't tag up. So 
They're going to have to get back on side, which they do, and they dump it back into the offensive end. Again, they are looking for a goal here. They have to score the next goal in this one. Back to the point now. Donahue, backdoor pass. Ba oh, good chance there. It just deflects wide of the post. St. Cloud still has it in the offensive end, though. 11.40 left in the second period. We're almost to the halfway point of this game. And now we get a stoppage in play. And what do we have here? Hey, William, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. I think they just called a hand pass there. Uh, I think that's what the whistle was for with 11.36 left. Um, Carolina, 3-2. Thank you for the update, Bubaloo. So they are now in the lead. They were down 2-1. Now they are up 3-2, as you would expect with the Hurricanes against the Red Wings. Marty Nietzsche with another goal. He's been phenomenal for the Canes this year. And we're going to head to commercial break. So we are at commercial break here in the second period. UMass with a 3-0 lead over St. Cloud State. Huskies need the next goal in this game or this thing is going to be out of reach rather quickly. Um, thank you guys all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate everybody watching. It would mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button or sub and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, I cover as much hockey as I can on this channel. Obviously, a majority of it's NHL, but when I get a chance to do college stuff, I do as well. Um, and I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. And the likes on the stream help out an absolute ton as well. And just getting more people watching uh, the, the stream and more people chatting here with us as this one goes along. Um, hey, M. Roach, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, the Battle of Alberta does take place tonight, Jeremiah. Um, I believe it's at 10 p.m., if I'm not mistaken, Edmonton and Calgary play. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to watch that, but, uh, it should be a good one. Tampa Bay, oh, I can't fit the 8 o'clock games on the ticker, guys, because it's too many characters long. Um, but Bubaloo, I appreciate the update. Tampa has a 1-0 lead over Nashville. I, just, I couldn't fit the 8 o'clock or later games on the ticker because I run out of character spaces when there's a lot of games. This one now taken by the Minutemen off of the faceoff as we're back from commercial break. Here's Lopina into the offensive zone. He plays it along the half wall. Back to the point now. Long shot there. Deflected on the way through. It goes wide. Greg, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Cross crease pass there. Doesn't connect for UMass. Lopina takes it. Spin around shot. Rennick makes a nice stop there. And he'll cover it up here with 11-12 remaining in the second. Be an offensive zone draw for the Minutemen coming up. Shots on goal are 10-6 in favor of UMass. But they have the 3-0 lead on the scoreboard where it matters most. And Huskies need to get the next goal of this game. No team has overcome a three-goal deficit to win a national title game since Northern Michigan in 1991. So it would be a big feat for St. Cloud State if they can come back in this one. Long shot there. That one goes wide right by the glove of Lindbergh. Under 11 minutes now remaining in the second as we approach the halfway mark of this one. Digging forward along the boards here. Players for both teams. UMass comes away with it. They try and send it right back up the boards where it came. And that is cleared by the Minutemen. They dump it deep into the St. Cloud zone. Taken here now by the Huskies. They send it all the way down. It's going to be icing though. That is icing against St. Cloud State. And UMass will get another offensive zone opportunity. Winnipeg, 1-0 over Montreal. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, there you go, Rob. That's cool. Thank you for watching, man. Really appreciate you stopping in. Hey, Greg's from uh, the Iron Range, Minnesota. There you go, Greg. 
Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate you stopping in. We need Huskies are going to need to get the next goal in this one. They cannot afford to go down 4-0. UMass back in the offensive zone. Controlling play here. Spin around shot. Short side just wide of the goal. Off the end boards there. St. Cloud gets it out. Move through neutral ice. Now they try to dump it deep. Nice hit in front of the bench, though. Lindbergh leaves it for Del Geizo behind the net. Under 10 minutes now to go in the second. Under 10 to go now in the second period as we have passed the halfway mark of this game. UMass back just regrouping in their own zone, trying to get a breakout going. They have a three-goal lead, and they're looking to hold it here. Looking for their first ever national championship. Big hit there. Now we got a penalty call coming up. It's going to be a penalty against the Minutemen. So St. Cloud State is going to get their third power play opportunity of the game here. They haven't been able to do anything with their first two chances, but this is another chance now with the or for the power play to get St. Cloud State on the board. My heroes, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. We'll have a power play for St. Cloud State when we come back. We're going to head to commercial break first, though. So, appreciate everybody being here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, it would mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um... Hockey channel here where I cover uh, fans of every single team and uh, are welcome and wanted here. And I cover as much hockey as I can on this channel. Um, really appreciate everybody stopping in for the stream tonight. We got a national championship game here between UMass Amherst and St. Cloud State. UMass has a 3-0 lead in the second period. But St. Cloud is about to go on the power play and a chance for them to get back into this one. Um... Dylan says UMass is going to win 5-3. to three. Hey, thank you, Greg. Really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Hey, yeah, St. Cloud's definitely got some, uh, some good players coming in. Absolutely. They're going to be a good team for a while. Hey. Uh, Keck MN, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Another one watching from Minnesota. Great to have everybody here. Thank you guys so much. So we're coming back from commercial break now. We're going to be setting up on the, or, um, St. Cloud's going to be setting up on the power play here. Hey, there you go, my heroes. That is awesome. So here's St. Cloud State setting up in the man advantage. Get possession in the offensive zone. Down in the corner. Back out, and that comes all the way through to Trevino. Bobby Trevino out of the zone there for the Minutemen, and he's able to clear it all the way down. First 20 seconds killed off. Good PK so far. St. Cloud back through the neutral zone now, trying to get... Uh, so, uh, you know, they really need a goal. They don't just need momentum. They really need a goal on this power play. Good chance there, just wide of the post. Great opportunity there on the point shot that got deflected. Still set up in the offensive end. Back to the point again. Now to the top of the circle. They're going to walk it. Set down low into the middle. Pass just doesn't connect through the skates and out of the zone here. 110 left on the power play. Down to 835 left in the second period. Moved in now. Huskies back into the offensive zone with 50 seconds of power play time left. They got to get this one cycling, get this cycle game, possession game going. To the half wall, back to the point. Back to the half wall. Looking to do something with it. Looking for a backdoor shot there, and Lindbergh makes the save. He'll cover it up with 8.05 left in the second and 36 seconds left on the man advantage. Send scored. Thank you for the update, Dylan. So Ottawa 
gets on the board against the Maple Leafs, and that's now a 2-1 to one game. Down now, Ozone face-off here for the Huskies. Walker's in to take it. They've got 36 seconds of power play time left. Hey, Charles, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you checking in. That one gets cleared all the way down by the uh, Minutemen PK. Down to 25 seconds left on the power play. St. Cloud State, 0 for 2 so far. Not looking to go 0 for 3. Down by 3 goals where they could really use one here. 15 seconds. Cross ice pass, set in front, doesn't connect with anybody. And it comes back out of the zone. Under 10 seconds remaining now on the man advantage. Good hit at the blue line there by UMass. Lindbergh plays it. And that is going to do it here for this power play. As we are back to 5-on-5 five five hockey, Minutemen have killed it off again. Their third PK of the game. And we're going to get a whistle here. 7.25 left in the second and a faceoff coming up. Oh, wow, no, we got a penalty call. Too many men. Wow, I didn't even realize that there was a penalty there. UMass goes to the power play. Too many men on the ice. Too many men on the ice um, for St. Cloud State there, and UMass gets a chance for the man advantage now. Uh, how is Zach Jones looked? He's been involved, Kreider. He, he, I mean, it certainly he hasn't like taken over the game or anything, but he's been involved for the Minutemen. He's had a solid game. I mean, uh, really, the, everyone's played pretty well for UMass in this game, but jo Jones has had a really solid game. So that one now, UMass trying to get set up in the offensive zone here. Kessel back to Jones at the point. Nice keep in there from Zach Jones. Down the wall, sent down behind the net, looking for a pass out in front now. Oliver Chow back to Kessel at the point. That one just gets blocked on the way through. Gaudet behind the net, gets it back to Chow. Back to Kessel now, D to D to Jones. Jones with a nice pass through. Back to Kessel, long shot, that one gets blocked. Jones has it again, 50 seconds left on the power play. 6.15 left in the period. Sent around here, back Kessel with a bump, and Matthew Kessel scores! It's a power play goal for UMass, and it's 4-0. Power play goal here for the Minuteman. Kessel finishes it off, and it's 4-0 UMass. And I was not expecting a blowout in the national championship game. I thought this was going to be a close one. Yeah, I was not expecting a blowout in this game. Wow. UMass up 4-0 now with 6-10 left in the second period. And St. Cloud is desperate to get a goal on the board at this point. They, have, they need to get something going. St. Cloud State now moves it in. 2-2 sends in Leafs. Wow, Leafs had a 2-0 lead, and now they've blown it. Yikes. Ottawa coming back in that one. Thank you for the update, Dylan. Oh, I'm sure Amherst is absolutely rocking right now, Red Rubber. Yeah, I am. I am surprised that this is such a one-sided game. I thought this was going to be a close one. St. Cloud now into the offensive zone. Zach Jones is your friend? That is absolutely sick. Lewis, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. 
St. Cloud now, shot there. That one gets blocked on the way through. Into the offensive zone. Five minutes now to go in the second period. Wraparound chance. Trying to get it short side, but Lindbergh holds the post. Very good goaltending there from Philip Lindbergh. St. Cloud still has it in the offensive end. UMass off glass now, able to clear it back to the neutral zone. Huskies get possession back at the red line, and they'll dump it back in. They're going to be offsides, though. Yeah, they're offsides here with 428 remaining in the period, and we're going to have a neutral zone faceoff coming up. So St. Cloud has actually come close to evening the shots up here. They're 12 to 10 in favor of UMass. The only di the difference, though, is on the scoreboard where UMass has a 4-0 lead. UMass has scored on four of their 12 shots, and St. Cloud's obviously scored on none of their 10 so far. Wings tied it as well, Jeremiah. Wow. So Detroit and Carolina, 3-3. We're going to head to commercial break here. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Awesome to have everybody in the chat hanging out for this game. Would really mean a lot if you drop a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you are new to the channel. Cover as much hockey as I can here. Mostly NHL, but I do college when I can. Obviously, being the national championship game, I was doing college tonight. Um, but uh, great to have everybody in the chat. Thank you guys all so much. All right, I don't believe either of you because you're not even spelling Jack's, uh, J Zach Jones's name correctly. Neither of you, neither of you are spelling Zach Jones's name properly, so I doubt you actually know him. <laughs> Hey, JV Terrian, that is awesome. You're from Massachusetts, me as well, my friend. That is awesome. You played at the Mullen Center, oh, uh, practice arena. That's fantastic, man. Bro, nobody can, none of you can spell Zach Jones' names correctly. It's Z-A-C. It's just Z-A-C is how he spells it. Ryan has a bunch of friends that went to UMass. I almost went to UMass. I wish I did. I probably should have. Uh, that they were my they were one of the schools I applied for, got into, went and visited. They were number two on my list. I ended up going to Worcester State, but now I probably should have went to UMass. But um, anyway, definitely uh, uh, hoping that they can represent New England well here, and they certainly are so far as they get the puck out of the zone here. That one gets moved in now. Top of the circle. Shot there. That one goes high over the bar. 3.30. Three and a half now left in the second period. St. Cloud trying to get it out of their zone. Oh, yeah, Babalu. This will be, uh, this will be their first national championship in uh, school history for UMass hockey. So absolutely awesome. And now uh, Hent. Or Rennick gets run into a little bit there, but uh, St. Cloud gets it up and out of the zone. Uh, n don't worry, it's not uh, Jeremiah. It's it's not based on this game. Far, far from it. Um, been second guessing that decision for like six years now. Hey, Ryan went to Clark. Okay, Clark was uh, very close. I've actually. I actually went to uh, a few different events or events, parties at Clark a couple of times. Um, also a Worcester school, so uh, I know Clark fairly well. Cross-ice pass there. Taken now 
by St. Cloud State into the offensive zone. Shot gets deflected wide, though. Down to 219 left in the period. Moved up and out, cleared by UMass. St. Cloud will have to enter the zone again. Hard off glass. Going in on the forecheck now. Trying to get some offense going. Desperately in search of a goal. St. Cloud State is now actually outshot UMass, but it's 4-0 Minutemen on the scoreboard. Hey, BG, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, really, Babaloo? That's cool. That's where I went. Um, so your brother and sister go there. That is cool. 3-2 Senators now. Wow, three unanswered goals for the Sens as UMass brings that into the offensive zone. Checked off the puck, though, and taken by St. Cloud State. Back the other way now for the Huskies. They rip a shot off Lindbergh, makes the glove save. He'll cover it up, and now we got some pushing and shoving after the whistle. Fitzgerald in there for St. Cloud State. Not sure who it was for UMass, but they break up quickly here, not wanting to take a penalty. So the Senators were, go from down 2-0 to up 3-2 over Toronto. Wow. Second period is coming to an end here. 125 left in the second. UMass holding on to the 4-0 lead now. Two goals in the first and two goals again here in the second. St. Cloud hasn't been able to get on the board yet despite 15 shots on goal. Uh, yes, BG. Yes, I do. I grew up here and have lived here my entire life. Oh yeah, Ryan. I went to uh, I went to a few of those. Um, definitely a fun time. Cleared out there by the Minutemen. One oh five left in the second. Now St. Cloud back through neutral ice, trying to get it into the offensive end. They dump it deep. Sent right back out though by the UMass defense, and Donnie U has to come back to play it. Moved cross ice now. Huskies into the offensive end, trying to get on the board. Sharp angle shot there goes off the outside of the goal. UMass trying to clear. Big hit there, and St. Cloud keeps it in. Still on the attack. Gaudette fighting for it in the corner. Gets it up to Oliver Chow. Chow has it taken away, though. 30 seconds left in the period. Back to the point now. D to D pass. Long shot. That one goes wide. Sent right back out in front. Blocker save from Lindbergh. 20 seconds left in the second. St. Cloud getting their best offensive pressure in a long time. Another shot there. That one goes high off glass and rattles all the way out of the zone. Great offensive zone opportunity there for the Huskies, but they couldn't finish it. Five seconds left now in the period. That's going to go all the way down. Icing going to get a whistle with just under a second left. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this period. Okay, it's Chiaro. You finally, you finally spelled his name correctly. All right, so what do we have for scores for other games? Hawks are now up 4-2 over Columbus. Thank you. And um, Winnipeg, 2-0 over Montreal. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. For all those updates. We are right down to the end of the second period here. They just got to drop this puck. And uh, that'll be pretty much it. They're just going to drop it. And the clock's going to go to zero. Uh, Jack. Good trade for uh, Tampa Bay. They needed to add a defenseman. That was kind of the one thing that was standing out as an issue. Um, as we come to the end of the second period here, Tampa needed another defenseman. So uh, obviously they're all in on, on another trying to win another cup this year, and Savard's a nice addition. We are headed to the second intermission now here, guys. 4-0 lead for UMass, and it's going to take an absolute miracle as Toronto has tied the game back at three now, so it's all tied up again. Marner with a goal. Thank you guys for the updates. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we are at the end of the second period. St. Cloud State is going to need a miracle to come back in this one. They're down 4-0. UMass has the lead heading into the third, but we've got some time to hang out and chill in the chat during this intermission. 
uh, while we wait for the third to begin. Really, really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. It would mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I cover as much hockey as I can on this channel. Um, and uh, we'd love to have you become part of the off-the-wall hockey community here. We push, uh, push towards 5K as the season goes along. Um, Nicholas, I don't even know about Boston, honestly, like, they're, they're not going anywhere in the playoffs this year, so I don't want any rentals, they're not a, they're not a very good team, um, they're, they're they'll be a playoff team, but they're not gonna do anything in the playoffs, I, I don't even know what to think at this point, I'll just see what they do, but, uh, I think whatever they do, it should be gearing up for next year, because, um, they're not doing anything this year. Hey, Matthews hat trick, it's 4-3 to three Leafs. Unbelievable. Thank you for the updates, guys. Un unreal game between the Senators and the Maple Leafs right now. Um, hey, have a good dinner, Jeremiah. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate you watching, man. Much, much appreciated, as always. Paolo, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate it. Matthews with a hattie. And the Leafs now have the lead again. 4-3 over the Sens. Yeah, I couldn't fit I couldn't fit the later starting games in the um on the ticker because of the character limit. Um but Flyers beat the Bruins 3-2 earlier today. Red Wings and Hurricanes are tied up at three. Oh, Stars beat the Panthers as well, four to one. Um, Blackhawks have a four-two lead over the Blue Jackets. Jets have a two-nothing lead over the Canadians. Maple Leafs now have a four-three lead over the Senators. The Lightning have a one-nothing lead over Nashville, and the Minnesota Wild have a one-nothing lead over St. Louis. Later tonight at ten o'clock, we have the Battle of Alberta, Edmonton, and Calgary. And at 10.30, we have the Kings and Sharks. So a lot of hockey in the NHL today and tonight. Uh, obviously, national championship game for college hockey happening right now. Um, it's a great day for hockey, to say the least. Yeah, Seahawks for life. Yeah, 31 goals now for Matthews. Hey, Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, St. Martin met Reggie Le uh, Lemlin. That's awesome. I remember him from being uh, one of the goaltenders uh, for the Bruins back in the day. Hope Glory, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, yes, Hope Glory. Oh, no, like the AHL has fighting and junior hockey has fighting, Hope Glory. So, no, NHL is not the only league, no. Third UMass goal was nasty, red rubber. Uh, the fourth one, the shot from Kessel on the power play, too, um, was a really good one. Um, wow, Winnipeg, 3-0 now. Bubaloo, thank you for the update. That is good for the Jets, who need this win to try and keep pace with Edmonton and uh, Toronto fighting for the top of that division. But Montreal, they got to worry about dropping out. Uh, the KHL has fighting, Hope Glory. The KHL in Russia has fighting. But we're here at the second intermission. Third period action will be coming up in a little bit, but we're just hanging out and chatting while we wait for the third to begin. Yeah, AHL fight. AHL has some really good fighters down there. Especially back in like the, the they, I mean, if you go back to like the 2000s where they had like guys that would literally fight like 40 times a year, um, that they had some true heavyweights in the A. Um, 
I do remember that, Luca. I streamed that game, man. Of course I remember. Yeah, Blackhawks now up 4-2-2 two, two over the Blue Jackets. Oh, wow, Red Rubber. Wow. 3 OT game 5. Wow, that is that is playoff hockey at its best right there. Uh yeah, Bubaloo, there's I I've seen lots of fights in the uh my years of going to Providence Bruins games. All the way back to when Colton Orr was on the Providence Bruins. Um and obviously through, well, they don't have fans now, but through the when we could actually go to games. But, yeah. Dennis, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. The Flyers did win today. The Flyers did win today, beating the Bruins. Embarrassing, or... I don't. I mean, it was a close game. I can't, it's not like they got blown out, but another tough loss for the Bruins that in a game that they really needed to win. So, I'm um, uh, least favorite team. I mean, I respect all teams in the NHL, and I, I don't like truly hate anybody. But being a Bruins fan, the Montreal Canadiens are our biggest rival. So, uh, I I would say Montreal would be my least favorite. Yeah, Aaron Downey played back in the day. Uh, Bobby Robbins is one of my all-time favorite Providence Bruins, Bubaloo, as was Lane McDermott. I loved Lane McDermott as well. Um, uh, I'm very discouraged about the Bruins, Hope Glory. Hey, Shane, welcome back. Thank you for stopping back in. Much appreciated. Just checking up on stories here. See if I missed anything. Not really. Yeah, Bubaloo. That's generally how it goes for the most part. It's like the enforcers are the nicest guys off the ice, and they're the guys that are fighting all the time on the ice. Hey, Liam, what's going on? Welcome. Yeah, all all time, Erod, it's absolutely brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Their all time record is rough. Mikhail says Habs are horrible. They're, I mean, they're not great this year. I thought they would be better than this. But they're still probably going to make the playoffs at least, Mikhail. Because the teams below them in the north are pretty pretty bad. I mean, Calgary's not going anywhere. Vancouver, I, I, it's too little too late for them. Ottawa's not good. So the Habs are still going to make the playoffs, it looks like. Yeah, last two decades, it's been a lot better for the Bruins, definitely. Um, uh, 
Yeah, they'll probably lose first round, Mikhail. Yes, they probably will, but at least they'll make the playoffs. We're in intermission here, waiting for the third period to begin. UMass has a commanding 4-0 lead here. Um, St. Martin says, Sox are up 3-2. Thank you for the update. Bottom of the sixth. Appreciate the update. Oh, God, I did not. I did not, Mikhail. Hey, Logan, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much, much appreciated. You, Yes, the Lightning picked up David Savard today. I think that's a big piece for them heading into the playoffs. Um, that was definitely an area of weakness for Tampa Bay. They needed one more defenseman, and they got that defenseman. So um, I'd be pumped if I were you, Logan. That's awesome. Yeah, Babalu, when I did my preseason predictions, I also picked the Flyers to win the division, and that obviously has not been the case this year. Very wrong about that. I I mean, I really don't, Mikhail, but it's nice to get updates in the chat still. Like, I appreciate him giving updates. I mean, I don't really watch much baseball or anything, but it's still nice to give an update. I'm sure there are other people in the chat who probably do care. Hey, Ava, what's going on? Welcome. Says, go UMass. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. They are up 4-0 here, heading into the third period. Yeah, Avi, that, that, that was a big move for the Bolts to get Savard. Now that defense is absolutely stacked. Appreciate everybody watching here. Not sure how much longer of intermission is left. Probably at least a little bit. But um, we're getting ready for the third. UMass is just going to lock it down and make sure that they win this third period. And um, they, They've got a commanding lead here, so it would it's really going to take a big comeback attempt by St. Cloud State. Even just getting this close would be a big comeback for St. Cloud State. So um, we'll see what happens here in the final 20 minutes. Hey, me either, Shane. I am super excited for the expansion draft and to see what Seattle looks like. Really, really excited for the Kraken coming in. All right, hopefully. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Babalu, absolutely. UMass cannot score another goal. St. Cloud State cannot win this game if UMass scores another goal. Uh, Aaron says the Pirates are leading the Cubs 8-1 to one in the bottom of the sixth. Wow, that's, um, that's a rough night for the Cubs. It is the second intermission, heading into the third period, but third hasn't started yet. commercial break here third's got to be starting pretty soon we've been at break for a while now so i might as well just update the ticker whoa noah's actually at the game right now well that is sick 
Hey, congratulations on actually being able to go. That is absolutely awesome. Appreciate you stopping in and watching. Great to have you here, but it must be awesome to be at the game. Hey, what's going on, Liam? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Porpoise says, five minutes till the third. Thank you. Appreciate the update. John, welcome. Thank you for being here. Yeah, UMass is taking a 4-0 lead into the third. All they got to do is just shut it down in the third. Yeah, I know a lot of us are watching on TV, but to actually be at the game, that must be awesome. I haven't been to a live hockey game in, I want to say last February, February of 2020, a Providence Bruins game, I think was the last live hockey game I went to before Corona hit and everything got shut down. It's been over a year. Hey, Steven, thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hey, Avi's having pancakes for dinner. There you go. Hey, Pittsburgh fan, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hey, you're never late. I, I fully understand that not everyone can be here all the time for every stream, and you're never late. I just appreciate you stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Hey, how is work, man? How is work? Hopefully you had a decent day at least. We're getting ready for the start of the third period here. Um, really, really appreciate all of you guys in the chat. Thank you all so much for watching. It would really mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, I, do, uh, I cover as much hockey as I can on this channel. And uh, mostly NHL, but I do college stuff when I have time. And obviously with the national championship game tonight, I was all about doing this game. And um, I did some college streams earlier in the year as well. And um, just trying to grow the hockey community and just, you know, trying to have a place where fans from, from, uh, from all teams come together and enjoy the sport. Hey, 100% Dork with another dono. He drops a five on the stream. Another dono, man. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Get some Dork hype in the chat. Dono hype drops another five on the stream. It is very, very much appreciated. Yes, teams are taking the ice for the third period. We will see if St. Cloud has anything in their tank for a comeback or if UMass shuts them down and finishes this off for their first ever national championship in hockey, which would be absolutely sick to see. I really, really appreciate everybody watching again. We've had a fun night. We've got a third period coming up, 20 more minutes of action, and uh, we will see how this one finishes. But uh, thank you guys all again so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow night for the Bruins and Capitals game. I'll be tr uh, NHL trade deadline all day, 10 to 3.30 on Monday. I'll be live for the NHL trade deadline. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll have NHL streams as well. Don't remember the games off the top of my head, but I'll let you know via the community tab when they get closer. Um, but we are underway here in the third. Thank you guys all so much for being here. And UMass is going to break it out of their zone. Just about 20 seconds in. Chow dumps it cross corner. Going in on the attack now. Hey, Hope Glory went to Curry. Sal also went to Curry College, Hope Glory. My friend Sal, who does behind the arc basketball, he went to Curry. George, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. It says, let's go UMass. We're 30 sec or 29 seconds into the third period here. We're going to have an offensive zone draw for the Minutemen coming up. St. Cloud's trying to win this back in their zone. St. Cloud State cannot afford to give up another goal in this game. And they got to start scoring as well. UMass takes that one and Zach Jones steals it and dumps it deep for the Minutemen. Trade deadline is Monday, Shane. 
Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern is the NHL trade deadline. That's how it gets moved in. And that's going to be an icing as the pass does not connect. And UMass will get another offensive zone draw out of it. Jackson, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you stopping in. What hat do I have on? It's a uh, Patriots hat that I didn't wear a lot last year because the Patriots were embarrassingly bad. But Patriots are going to be a lot better this year. So um, I've finally gotten a chance to wear it and get excited for football season again, which obviously is still months away. But we're uh, 19 minutes to go in the third, Thomas. We just started the third period. Um, UMass here bringing it into the, into the offensive zone. And sent right back out by St. Cloud State. And dumped back in by UMass. UMass is definitely going to be happy just to kill clock here. St. Cloud has a lot of pressure to get something going offensively. And now here comes Anthony Del Geizo for the Minutemen. Back the other way into the offensive zone. Chance here now. Walk to the middle. Slot off the stick though. And kept in. Nice job keeping it in the zone there. Huskies will get another chance to clear, though. Moved into the middle, and they'll get it out. Moved up over the red line now and into the offensive zone. Dropped back. Sent in deep. Taken in the corner here by the Huskies. Looking to get something going offensively. Sent in front there, and that one's paddled away by Lindbergh. UMass coming out the other way. They dump it deep. They'll head off for a line change. Donahue now takes it for the Huskies, trying to get the breakout going. Move to the middle. Uh, it is called UMass Dartmouth, Hope Glory. Spin around shot there, deflected to the corner, goes wide. Move down now. Oh, big hit there by UMass, and they are able to start the breakout. Chip to the neutral zone. Chow first to it. Into the offensive end now for the Minutemen. He's got a couple guys from St. Cloud State getting back, though, and he loses the puck. St. Cloud now back into the offensive zone. Moved up here and dumped in by the Minutemen. Three minutes into the third period. We've got 17 minutes of action remaining in this one, and UMass is holding on to the 4-0 lead. Hey, Melissa, another uh, former UMass student checking in. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Really, really appreciate it. Danica, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching as well. Minutemen into the offensive zone. Two on one shot. Oh, they can't get it off. Good stick there. Now coming back the other way. St. Cloud State into the offensive zone. UMass, both of these teams actually looking for their first ever national championship win. But... St. Cloud State down by four here in the third. They need to get some offense going quickly if they're going to do it. UMass content to hold this four-goal lead. Really appreciate everybody in the chat. Here come the Minutemen again. Trying to cut in and to the post, but not in. Nice save there from Rennick, and uh, that net comes off. And uh, UMass, that was uh, Laganov, I think, driving the net. Not able to tuck it in and knocks the net off. That's going to be a face-off coming up. Slides into the goaltender there. Knocks the net off, and that's, I think, going to be a neutral zone draw. Yes, one and dumped in by UMass. Under 16 now to go in the third. Taken away here by the Minutemen as they bring it back into the offensive zone. Trying to cut to the middle. Looking for a scoring opportunity. Back to the point. Kept in at the blue line. Long shot there. That one gets gloved by Rennick and he grabs it and will cover that up. 15-39 remaining in the third. Ozone faceoff for the Minutemen coming. Uh, Pittsburgh fan, it was pretty good. How was yours? Had a lot of fun this afternoon playing some football with my friends. Um, then I came home, took a took a uh, nap, and um, then got ready to do this stream. 
Oh yeah, Melissa, I'm sure. I bet that campus is absolutely nuts right now. That one gets moved over the over the red line. Dumped in there by St. Cloud State, but sent right back out. Moved up here. Not out of the zone, though. UMass will have to try again. This time they do get it. Over the red line, and they dump it deep. They'll head off for another line change. Quick shifts here for the Minutemen. They don't want to get caught out and give out too long and give up a goal. 15 minutes to go in the third. St. Cloud desperately, desperately um, needs to get a goal on the board here if they're going to have any comeback attempt at all. Hey, St. Martin, there you go. That's awesome. Taken now. Lopina in the offensive zone. Sends it deep. Trying to get it out of the St. Cloud defense. They go up the boards now. Stolen back, though, by Trevino. Bobby Trevino with it in the corner. Moved in here. Shot, and that one gets blocked. UMass keeps it in at the point, though. I think that's Felix. Out there with Del Gaizo. Sent into the middle. Stolen away, though, there by St. Cloud State, and they get it out. Cleared there by the Huskies. UMass sends it right back in. Trevino rips a shot. And Trevino scores! High blocker side! It's 5 nothing, Minutemen! And I think that just about does it. Uh, this one was probably over before it, but that is the dagger right there. That is the knife to the throat, through the heart, all of it. The final nail in the coffin has been hammered in, and it is 5 nothing UMass, who are now 14 minutes away from their first ever national championship win. HUD, what is going on? Welcome. Vaughn, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you guys watching. And it is now a five-goal game as St. Cloud State trying to get something going. Chance here. That shot just goes wide of Lindbergh. Back out to the point, and nobody's there all the way out of the zone. 13 and a half to go now. Lebster with the assist. Trevino with the goal. Uh, I very rarely watch basketball, Matthew, so no, not really. Basketball is probably my least favorite sport out of the big four. 13 minutes left here in the third now. Uh, Zach Jones moves it up and out. Clear, dumped in there by the Minutemen. Back behind the net, St. Cloud State trying to get something going. Uh, I would say I baseball is okay. I don't watch a ton of it, but I will catch a game here and there. I like going to games more than watching on TV by a lot. Um, but baseball's all right. It's it's number three of the, the sports that I like. I would say it's, hockey's number one. Football's close to hockey, number two. And then baseball's three and basketball's four. So that one goes up and on a play here with 12-24 remaining in the third. 5 nothing lead here for UMass. Jacob, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, Mikheyev scored for the Leafs, so that game's what now? 5-3 Toronto? Hey, Gideon, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you. Penns fan, welcome as well. We just headed to commercial break here. Uh, no, nah, you're all good. You're never late, guys. I appreciate you guys just stopping in to say hello. It really means a lot. Oh, St. Martin with the dono. Drops a five on the stream. Get that dono hype for St. Martin in the chat, guys. Really, really appreciate that, man. Drops another five on the stream. That is very, very much appreciated. Uh, no hope, Glory. They are not, unfortunately. 
Not a f can't say I'm a huge fan. Although curling in the Olympics is kind of cool, but I would not watch it like uh, on a regular basis over a long season. But it's kind of cool in the Olympics sometimes. But figure skating, I don't watch at all. Yes, Gideon. Tomorrow I'll be streaming the Capitals and the Bruins game tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Really, really appreciate everybody being here. Third period action. We're coming back from commercial break. M UMass with the 5-0 lead. Uh, no, I have not, Bubaloo. I do not like soccer at all. That is easily my least favorite major sport. Um, not, a, not that it's huge here in the U.S., but yeah, no, I am a no-go on soccer. Can't, can't do it. Uh, favorite AHL team Gideon is the Providence Bruins. I go to a ton of their games. Well, when they allow fans, I go to a ton of their games. So definitely, um, definitely Providence. Hey, Eric, that is a, that is a very, uh, very respectful and classy, uh, way for fans to be, and, um, much respect to you, Eric, for that. I can't watch the AHL on TV. The only time I see the AHL bubble is when I'm at the game. I'm not, not gonna, I can't stream from the game. Oh, I love golf. I love golf. Masters this weekend. I, I'm a huge fan of watching golf, especially a big tournament. Yeah, I live like 20 minutes away from um, from where the Providence Bruins normally play at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence. So I go to go to a ton of game. No, Dennis, we were talking about the we were talking about UMass Dartmouth earlier. They're not that had nothing to do with this game. We we're talking about what. Like, we were talking about the school UMass Dartmouth, but no, this is UMass Amherst in this game, yes. Uh, there's 11.20 left in the third. Someone gets moved here, cleared out of the zone. St. Cloud back to get it. Five down by five. I mean, this is just kind of the clock ticking away at this point. Long shot in. That one goes to the corner. I mean, they're they're playing for respect. That one cleared out to the neutral zone. Yeah, there's, there's UMass Lowell, UMass Boston, UMass Dartmouth, UMass Amherst. Um, but UMass Amherst is the only D1. Like, that's the big school. It's got like 30,000 30, kids or maybe more than that now. But that's the big school, the D1 school, the best athletics. Um, although UMass Lowell hockey team is also very good. Um, well, they're, they're at least... They're D1, and they're, um, they play in Hockey East, the same conference as UMass Amherst. So UML hockey is pretty good, but UMass Boston, I don't even know if UMass Boston even has sports. And UMass Dartmouth is D3. As we got a nice save there by Lindbergh with 9.57 left in the third, and we are halfway through this final period. I'd love to check out Minnesota, Greg. Hockey's huge up there, I know. When when traveling becomes easier again, I would love to check out um, Minnesota. Pittsburgh fans, uh, congratulations to your sister. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. St. Cloud State is a Minnesota school. Uh, I'm not sure what, what like what city or town in Minnesota they're from, but they're from Minnesota. Um, UMass Amherst is from Amherst, Massachusetts. 
Sen scored. It's 5-4 now. Wow, that's a very high-scoring game between the Senators and the Maple Leafs tonight. Hi, Days. What's going on? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, best goaltender in the NHL, Gideon, is Andre Vasilevsky. Hey, Branderson, what's up? Oh, St. Cloud is the name of the town, so it's from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, the game ends when the time runs out. There, there's no set time that a game ends in um, in hockey. There's 9.57 left in the third period. That will take longer than 9.57 to play, but there's 9.57 here left in the third. We are just coming back from commercial break. Um St. Martin, I did. Bro, you dropped that dono like seven minutes ago. I did. That came through like seven minutes ago, dude. Did you miss it? You got dono hype in the chat and everything, but that was like a while ago now. Unless you dropped another one that hasn't gone through, but... That... the. It was, that was like, uh, that was definitely a decent amount of time ago now. Hey, Sharaf, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. St. Cloud State back in the offensive zone. Deflected up and out of play, though. And we got a stoppage. Now we got some pushing and shoving after the whistle, but that breaks up quickly. 9.27 now left in the third. Wow, Winnipeg 4-0 now, Bubaloo. Thank you, appreciate that. Oh, wait. Do, oh, okay. Whoops, I screwed that up. That's my bad. Hey, Michelle, that is awesome. Yeah, Michigan's another great hockey state for sure. Um, but your son went to UMass Amherst. That's fantastic. I I almost, I've toured UMass Amherst. They were on my list. They made my final three schools. I didn't end up going there. I went for the cheaper option, but I kind of wish I did go to UMass. But um, always been a fan of their sports teams, and they're representing New England well here. Uh, no, Matthew, I don't really have a baseball team, really. Uh, 8.48 left in the third here. Um, uh, yeah, Sophia, uh, Yerskowitz, yeah. She works for Nesson as the, uh, the rinkside reporter. Wings goal, wow, it's 4-3, wow. Oh, that's awesome, he's, he's there now, that's fantastic. They must be, be they must be really happy on campus tonight. Minnesota Wild have been very good this year, Eric. Absolutely. Uh, yes, I do, Branderson. Very much so. Brad, welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right, move through here. Into the offensive zone. That one taken away by St. Cloud. Eight minutes to go in the third. Down by five. Everyone's just kind of watching the clock tick in this one. I know St. Cloud State doesn't want to keep a zero on the board, though. So they're going to be trying to score and at least get one here. UMass out of the zone, though. Moved over the red line and dumped in deep. And St. Cloud will go back and regroup. Oh, okay. I got you, Lauren. That's cool. Between Minneapolis and Brainerd, which I don't know. But I do know somewhat where Minneapolis is. Uh, yes, I do think the Bruins are going to make the playoffs, Branderson, but I think they're going to lose in the first round. Uh, Gideon, I do not know why. Um, I, there, that had to be a business thing behind that that I really don't know anything about. Uh, 
I, I mean, they're fine, Hope Glory, but I just don't care about baseball enough to care who wins. So, like, I'll watch a baseball game, but if I, half the time I have no, no, like, strong feelings either way towards who wins the game. That one gets moved in. Dumped in by St. Cloud State. Behind the net now. Taken there. St. Cloud hard on the forecheck, but not able to keep it in. Here comes Chow now into the offensive zone. Two on one for UMass, and the shot just goes wide. Might have got a blocker on that was Rennick. Cleared out now. Taken again by UMass. Into the offensive zone with 6.10 to go. Move deep. Trying to get it back the other way. Hey, Jack's got the story behind Bally Sports now. There we go. Jack knows the business side of things better than me, at least from the network standpoint. Um, so Fox Sports regional networks were sold to, by Fox to Disney, and then Disney sold them to Sinclair, who rebranded it as Bally with Bally's Casino as a sponsor. Okay. So, yeah, that was all because of money and, and business and, and brand and, um, like, uh, business deals and stuff. Yeah, I, I I don't know what you guys have seen from the Bruins team that makes you remotely confident in them at all. I see a team that is not very good. Maybe that's just the pessimistic fan that I am, but they are not very good this year. Like, I, I don't see them doing anything in the playoffs. Backdoor chance there for UMass. It just goes wide. Uh, yes, I do think Montreal makes the playoffs. I think they're going to be the fourth team. I think they're going to be the fourth team in the North. Bruins are not winning the Cup. I would bet a large sum of money on the Bruins not winning the Cup. I don't, I don't even think they have much of a chance. Their offense is bad. Like, their offense is bad. Kane's tied at four. Thank you, Bubaloo. Speaking of teams that are significantly better than the Boston Bruins, the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, one of the Carolina, Tampa Bay, Vegas, Colorado, um, Florida. Washington, Islanders, uh, Toronto, all better than the Bruins. All right, see you later, Matthew. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon, my man. Appreciate you stopping in. We're down to 325 left in the third here. St. Cloud throws it in on Lindbergh. Lindbergh just gloves it and covers it up. We got some more pushing after the whistle here, but again, it just kind of dies out quickly. 321 left in the third. Uh, yeah, how about them Sabres? I mean, they've been winning a little more recently, so um, congratulations to them. They've been winning a little bit more uh, recently, but uh, yeah, the Sabres are still really, really bad. We're at commercial break here. This should be the final commercial break of the game, I believe. Um, let's check some scores. Uh, again, I just want to thank everybody again so much for watching. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you in the chat. It really does mean a lot, and it would mean a lot if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, I cover as much hockey as I can, mostly NHL on this channel, but when I get a chance to do some college stuff, I love to do it because I'm a big college hockey fan as well. Being from Massachusetts, we have Hockey East up here, and uh, all the local teams are, are usually pretty good, and uh, we get some really high-quality college hockey up here. Valerie, what's going on? Welcome. 
Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hey, Porpoise with the five. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate that, everybody. Please get some dono hype in the chat for the Porpoise with the $5 dono. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't know what you, I don't know what you're thinking, Brad, but this game has been awesome for me. This game's been great. Thank you so much. Don't all hype in the chat. Really, really appreciate that. We are back from commercial now. Good shot there. That one gets blocked. That one gets cleared out now. Cross ice pass. Ooh, into the St. Cloud bench there. Into the St. Cloud bench. And Delgaizo knocked that one down with his hand. 3-12 remaining in the third year. 5-0 UMass with the lead. Really, really appreciate all the support tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. UMass is three minutes away. Three minutes away from their first ever hockey national championship. This is, uh, they are making all of New England proud with this one. So that one gets dumped in. St. Cloud State trying to come back the other way. Move through the middle now into the offensive end. Shot there. Lindbergh with the save. Hey, Masshole, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. Appreciate it. Hey, Daniel, congratu or, uh, thank you for the congratulations. Much respect to you as well. I know you are going for St. Cloud State in this one, but much respect, man. Um, UMass just got it done tonight. Hey, Dennis is going to get a UMass shirt. Trail of the Wild, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Count Me is one of those mass people. Lived here my whole life. And uh, UMass is doing us proud in this one for sure. That faceoff's one shot gets blocked. They're going to redo the faceoff, I think. Linesman dropped it when he didn't want to. Brendan, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We got 220 left in the third. Ozone draw here for St. Cloud State. Oh, wow, Brad. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, trophy is out of the case, ready to come out onto the ice. Ready for a celebration. 205 left here. That one goes up and out of play. And we get another stoppage and whistle. And another faceoff coming up. Third period action coming to a close. UMass with the 5-0 win. They have controlled this game. Really, from the first five minutes were a lot of offensive zone time for St. Cloud State, but from then on. UMass got their game going and really controlled the rest of this game. And once UMass went up, um, they they really kind of controlled it from then on. And uh, this was a really good performance for the Minutemen. Oh, yeah, St. Martin. Very, very expensive. Uh, Vancouver is their team facilities are opening tomorrow, Gideon. And their first game back will be on Friday. Wow, I guess not, Bubaloo. Montreal did not show up. Winnipeg with a 5-0 lead over the Canadians. Yikes. Also, I completely forgot to change those to third. But all the 7 o'clock games are in the third now. Oh, shoot. Tampa's up 2-0. Oh, I, I for, keep forgetting. I don't have the 8 o'clock games on the ticker because of space. But thank you for that update. Appreciate it. 
Cleared out there by UMass. Under two minutes now to go in the third. They are coming to the end of this one. The national championship is going to belong to the Minutemen. Congratulations to UMass Amherst, their first national championship in, uh, in school history. A dominant 5-0 performance here over St. Cloud State. Thank you guys all so much for being here and watching. Definitely going to give props to UMass for this one and give them a some uh, an ovation when they this one goes final and they win it. Um, minute 20 now remaining in the third. Moved into the middle. And offsides there as we get a whistle and we'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming up. UMass beat Minnesota Duluth in overtime of the semifinal, 3-2. Got a huge overtime win to reach this game. And now they come into this game and dominate the final against St. Cloud State, 5-0. With a minute 12 remaining now as St. Cloud sends that out of the zone. That one gets thrown in. Lindbergh has to cover it up and we get a stoppage. And... We're going to uh, get an offensive zone draw here for the Huskies with 104 remaining in the third. Brian with the one. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that, Brian. Everyone get some dono hype in the chat for Brian. Drops a one on the stream. It's really, really appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One back there defensively. Not able to clear the zone, though, with the Minutemen. Huskies keep it in. Donahue, long shot from the top of the circle, gets blocked. UMass can't get it out, though. Still in the offensive end. Long shot there, blocked again. Finally comes out to neutral ice. And St. Cloud's going to have to go back to get it. Hey, thank you so much, Brian. Really, really appreciate that. 35 seconds left in the third now. Dumped in by the Huskies. Appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys all so much. We get a whistle there. 30 seconds left. And another face-off coming up. Would really mean a lot, guys, if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I cover as much hockey as I can here. NHL mostly, but I get do college when I can. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. Um... Next NHL stream is tomorrow night, Brian. Boston versus Washington, 7 p.m. Really, really appreciate everybody being here. Thank you guys again. What an awesome night for uh, of college hockey. And UMass is going to win their first national championship. 15 seconds left. Leafs have scored to make it 6-4. Uh, backhand chance there just over the bar. St. Cloud still trying to get on the board here. Chance again. Final seconds in the offensive zone. Makes a save. And that is going to do it. The UMass Minutemen are your national champions in 2021. UMass represent New England Hockey East and all of the Northeast here. Let's go. UMass with the win. 5-0 over St. Cloud State. And this game has gone final. What a huge, huge win for UMass Amherst. And they finally take home a national championship. That is absolutely awesome. Congratulations to the UMass Minutemen. Congratulations to St. Cloud State as well for making it this far. Never, never easy to get to the final. And uh, they, they did a really good job getting to the final and uh, making it this far. But they just couldn't quite finish it off in the last game. UMass with a shutout win, 5-0 over the Huskies to take home their first ever national championship. This is, this is absolutely awesome to see. Representing Hockey East, Massachusetts, and all of New England. And... Um, Wow, awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. I'm probably going to stay on and see the uh, see the trophy presentation. 
I'm not going to chug a beer. I've been drinking Pink Whitney all night. I, I don't think I want to chug a beer right now. Well, I did finish my drink now. Yeah. 20, 2022 Frozen Four is expected. to It will be in Boston next year. That's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, much credit to St. Cloud State getting this far. They did an awesome job, had an awesome season. Um, all right, I'll... There's that much Pink Whitney left. Do you want me to just slam it? I'll finish the Pink Whitney. That's no problem. I'm probably not going to do it in one chug, though. Definitely not going to do it in one chug. There's, uh, there's probably at least three shots left worth, but... Um, I will finish the bottle of Pink Whitney while they do the celebration, so. There's one shot worth. I'm not going to do it in one shot. I mean, this is straight vodka. It's a little rough, but uh, I will finish it. There's definitely three shots worth. Well, now there's two shots worth left in there. Teams are lined up. I don't think they're shaking hands because of COVID. So I think they they kind of line up at the blue line and kind of just stick tap towards each other rather than shake hands because obviously with COVID, they don't want you going through the line, I guess. Um, Obviously, St. Cloud State, pretty uh, pretty disappointed. Obviously, to get this far and lose is tough, but definitely, um, definitely props to them and much respect to St. Cloud State. And uh, But UMass comes home the winner tonight. Definitely not, Bubaloo. Definitely not. This is nothing compared to what I normally do. A couple shots of Pink Whitney ain't going to have me in any issue tomorrow. All right. Ugh. There's one left. Give it another minute and then I'll finish that bottle off. Wow, Columbus makes it 4-3. Pro probably too little too late there, though. Detroit and Carolina is going to OT. Uh, Penns fan, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, are, have any games gone final? Hawks fan, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, the Le did the, wait, did the Leafs win 6 to 5? That game's final now. Jets win 5-0. That one's final. Okay. Uh, that's a good question, Porpoise. Um, Finland does produce great goaltending. I don't know if it's their, if it's like their development system there or what, but there are a lot of great goaltenders that come out of Finland. Absolutely. Uh, I only do the goal horn when the, when the, uh, when there's a goal scored. UMass got five of them tonight, Branderson. They got the trophy out on the ice now. The trophy is out on the ice. UMass has won it. I am going to finish. This bottle right now. <clears throat> the trophy is there. UMass with the win. Oh, boy. This last one's going to be tough. Here we go. Ha, <laughs> ha. All right, that bottle of Pink Whitney's gone. Now I'm going to chase it with what's left of this lemonade. Ah, shit. All right. 
Trophy presentation time, and I'm going to sign off for the night. Don't forget tomorrow, Bruins and Capitals, 7 p.m. I'll be live for that one. Going to be a fun time. See if the Bruins play better or are able to get up a win, or get a win unlike today. But um, probably I, I'm not. I the Capitals should win that game with the Bruins being on a back to back with travel. Uh, Brian, I don't think there's like a way to quantify that. Hope glory, yes. Uh, Daniel, very happy. Hey, that it's awesome. Great to see UMass win. Thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> I can't hear. Like, I have it on mute so I don't get audio copyrighted, but I have no idea what they're saying during this trophy presentation. Here comes Gaudette, though, to get it. Captain of the UMass Minutemen. Um, and he takes the trophy. He's got it. Let's go. And everybody piles in. Yes. What a win. The trophy is up. Hey, thank you, Mike and Julie. Appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. So UMass now has the trophy. They are uh, they are passing it around. They're skating around with it. Um, now they're going to take a picture at center ice. They want them backed up a little. Um, Blackhawks win 4-3. to three. Thank you for that update. Get that on this ticker here. But I'm going to sign off here pretty quick, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Don't forget that I will be back tomorrow night for the Bruins and Capitals. Trade deadline day on Monday. I'll be live from 10 a.m. all day through the deadline until probably about 3.30 in the afternoon. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll have game streams as well. So, um... It's going to be a really fun week and uh, have plenty, have plenty of, uh, what am I even trying to say here? Um, we'll have plenty of hockey action coming your way. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really does help out a lot and really means a lot to me. I cover as much hockey as I can on this channel and I uh, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So have a great night tonight. Um, have a gr great day tomorrow, the rest of your weekend. Hopefully you're, um, you're able to come by tomorrow night. And if not, that's totally fine too. Um, but we're going to have some fun tomorrow night as well. And, um, I really appreciate it again, all of you guys. So all of your support, everything that you guys do to help this channel, this would not happen without all of you. So it really, really, really means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. And I'll be talking to you very soon. Have a great night. And with that, I am out.